your favorite quiz show about the most livable city in the world, Melbourne. We're here again with, a, with brand new questions and facts on ACC, ACC Global, Global Melbourne Q. Q. Yes, and it's a very special episode today, isn't that right, Sue Hassini? Yes, it is, Michael, because tonight is our last episode before the quarterfinals. How amazing is that? It's so amazing. I'm so excited right now. Haven't been able to sit still all day. That's right. You do seem a little uh, energetic tonight. Maybe you shouldn't have had that much coffee and a kind of energy drink earlier today. Right. Well, that is a good point. Uh, but as you you know, I'm Michael, your energetic Melbourne local. Uh -huh. And I'm Suhasini. I don't believe in self-praise, but I know quite a bit about Melbourne too. And I love testing everyone's knowledge. And patience. Huh? Uh, so let's tell everyone about the show, shall we? Mm. In this episode, we'll test the teams over three rounds. The easy peasy round with easy questions for everyone. Then we have the visual round, which we call the picture book round. And finally, the fair dinkum round, which is a rapid fire buzz around. At the end, the two teams with the highest score move ahead to the quarterfinals and unfortunately one team gets eliminated. That's right and in today's episode we're playing at the elimination level after which we have quarterfinals then semi-finals and then only two teams will make it to the finals and they'll battle it out for the grand prize which is... The winning team gets a fabulous $2,500 hamper including education services from AECC Global, a two-night stay at Phillip Island from YHA Australia, a Melbourne entertainment book from Entertainment Publications, and a gourmet chocolate hamper from Chai Junction. Yes, and that's why my excitement <laughs> is off the charts right now. And it looks about the same for our three teams as well. Are you guys excited? Yes. Okay, let's um, get to know our teams a bit better. Let's meet them. The first team up is Mysterious. Welcome to the show, guys. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us a little about your team? Yep, um, my name is Christy uh, and I'm studying Bachelor of Commerce at uh, Australian, uh, Australian Catholic University at the moment. And I'm really happy to come here and to participate in this show. Great. Right. Hello everyone, my name is Gaurav. Uh, uh, I'm from India. Uh, I'm studying here a Diploma of Nursing from Chisholm Institute of Thai. Uh, and I also work as a PCA in HK uh, and I lo love to participate in this show. Brilliant. Great. And why do you call your team Mysterious? Um, because it sounds awesome and it sounds cool. Right. Uh, <laughs> so no real answer. Still a bit of a mystery there. Right. Make sure you answer the questions though. Yeah. Don't keep that a yeah, mystery. Yeah, that would be <laughs> All Thanks right. so much for being here, Mysterious. We'll move on to our next team, The Push. Mm. Welcome to the show, guys. Introduce yourselves and tell us a bit about your team. Well, my name is Dominica Luna. I'm from Ecuador. I'm a starter certificate for in business and management in RMIT. Hello there, my name is Miskin Azim. I'm originally from Sri Lanka. I'm studying my Bachelor's of Accounting and I'm studying at uh, Swinburne University of Technology. Uh -huh. And why do you call your team The Push? The Push. <laughs> the Push is an organization that promotes this program called Walk This Way, that we are part of it. It's for international students to promote the urban culture of Melbourne. Like we have hip hop class, DJ class, it's really nice. Right. Mm -hmm. And also, we got cultural dinners as well. Ah, dinners. Are you hungry yeah. right now? Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. I would push to be in that team. Yeah, well, push ahead. Yep. We push we ahead be. as well. Move on to the next team. We'll stop with the puns, though, and move on to <laughs> Sam and Melbourne, our last team. Welcome to the show, girls. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us about your team? Okay, we're from Salmon, Melbourne. My name is Leonie. I come from Indonesia. And right now I'm studying my Master of Information System in the University of Melbourne. Mm -hmm. And my okay. partner? My name is Irpi, and we're representing Salmon, Melbourne, the dance group from Aceh. So, the history in this, um, it's, uh, what was it? The fisherman dance from Aceh, like from Indonesia, we're for all from Indonesia. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hopefully Great. you can apply some knowledge to this game. Thanks so much for being here, guys. And let's give a big round of applause for all our teams here. All right, very good. So now it's time to get down to our first quizzing round of the night. The easy peasy round. Yeah. It's going to be a fun one. Yeah, that it will. So in this game, we'll be asking our three teams five question each. Ten points goes to each correct answer and you're going to want to get as many points as you can. That's right. So I hope everyone's ready to get going because we are. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we are. Okay. So without further ado, let's begin the easy peasy round. So first question to Team Mysterious. Who is the postal service provider in Melbourne? 
Is it A, Australia Post, or B, Victoria Post? A. Australia Post. Correct. Very Great good. Great effort there. Over to the push. Your question. Which is the primary law enforcement agency in Melbourne? Is it either A, the Victoria Police, or B, the Australian Federal Police? Victoria yes. Police? Absolutely correct. Great work. Okay, team summon. Buses are included in the public transport service offered by Public Transport Victoria. Is that true or false? True. Yeah. Correct. Very good. Over to Mysterious. The Study Melbourne Centre is a service provided by either A, the State Government of Victoria, or B, the Local Government City of Melbourne. Uh, the State Government, A. That is correct. Great work. Great. Okay, the push. Name the bridge that spans the Yarra River and connects Swanston Street to St Kilda, carrying trams and pedestrian traffic. Is it A, the Harbour Bridge, or B, the Princess Bridge? Princess Bridge. Correct. Princess Bridge. To Salmon Melbourne, name any two suburbs in Melbourne that end with wood, W-O-O-D. Collingwood. 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 Mm-hmm. Burwood. Burwood. What was that last one? Burwood. That's correct, great work. Very good. Okay, Team Mysterious. Who is Pat Cash? Is it A, a retired Australian tennis player who won the Wimbledon in 87? Or founder of the Cash Converters chain? A. Correct. The Push. Name any one of the sporting arenas in Melbourne Park that hosts Australian Open Tennis and other entertainment events. Rod Arena. Absolutely MCG. correct. Great Very work. good. Thank you. Okay, Team Summon Melbourne. Melbourne's Olympic Park Stadium was constructed for the 1956 Olympic Games. Is that true or false? True. Correct. It was built for the soccer competition in the Olympic Games. Over to the mysterious team. Name the island close to Melbourne that is famous for viewing the Penguin Parade. Philip Either Island. Either A, <laughs> Phillip Island, or B, Kangaroo Island. Phillip Island is correct. Correct. Didn't even need <laughs> options there. Very good. Okay, team push. Name the famous valley in the northeast of Melbourne that's known for its wineries. Is it A, the Yarra Valley, or B, Mooney Valley? A. Yarrow Valley. Yarrow Valley. Correct. Sam in Melbourne, where can you find the Sovereign Hill Gold Museum? Either A in Bendigo or B in Ballarat? B in Ballarat. That's correct. Okay, Team Mysterious. Lonsdale Street was named after William Lonsdale, who supervised the founding of Melbourne. Is that true or false? False. Correct, that's actually true. Oh, that's all right. Over to the push. James Munro, an influential businessman in the 1880s, built many coffee houses in Melbourne which were never successful and were forced to close down during the 1890s depression. True or false? True. Correct. <laughs> Very stressed for that one, weren't you? All right, and final question of the round to Team Summon Melbourne. The first Woolworths supermarket was opened in a Melbourne suburb. Is that true or false? Hmm. Quick, quick, oh. Uh, sorry, you ran out of time there. <laughs> uh, that means we're out of time for the easy peasy round But as well. your answer was actually correct. The first cold supermarket was open in Melbourne, but not the Woolworths one. But you just missed out because of late answering. How dare she? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but a fantastic job, everyone, for that round. Uh, did you guys have a fun round, everyone? Yeah. yeah, okay, great. And that was some good answering yeah. too, really yeah. like that. But I feel like the action's just heating up. Yeah. Maybe we should take a break. Yeah, we should. And maybe our team should, you know, conserve some of that energy before we head <laughs> into our next round. Yes. Uh, but before we take a break, let's see how well you speak Australian. Good day, mate. How you G'day. going? Good day. Crikey. I'm Cro great. I'm good. All right. Yeah. What about you guys? How you going? Oh, good. Good improvisers. Yeah. Great. Right. <laughs> Fair evil, mate. <laughs> All right. Well, hold your breath, mate. We'll see you after the break on ACC, ACC Global. Global. Thank you.